Well, there you have it. It's only been about two or three years since we had AI and it's already making us dumber. Now, so far there has been two studies that have come out that have explained that uh, the use of AI has actually made us dumber and use less critical thinking skills. And I just wanna take this video to basically talk about two things. I wanna talk about like what these studies actually say and what they talk about. And also what does that even mean for like those in the tech industry, like software engineers like myself and others who like may be relying and are also scared of AI. So let's go ahead and dive into like what these studies actually mean. So the first study is based out of a center in Switzerland. And their study basically revolves around uh, different surveys to doing qualitative and quantitative uh, questions around like the usage of AI tools. And the second study is actually much more interesting because it was done by Microsoft and Carnegie Mellon. The study is saying that we're using less critical thinking skills and also Microsoft owns 49% of OpenAI, which is ChatGPT, which I feel like is super interesting that they are contributing to this, this critical thinking bleed that we have. The participants in this study are basically, they're ranging from uh, knowledge workers and their ages are from like young professionals all the way to those that are approaching retirement age. So just like this large like swath of different kind of people. And the, one of the biggest findings that they found is that critical thinking for the younger generation for the younger people that are using AI um, are trusting it more and more implicitly and not questioning the output when it comes out of it. And also because of that, getting less value out of the AI tools themselves. They're just trusting that whatever they put in there will be the answer and they just ship it off. But what is also interesting is that those who have been in the industry for a lot longer, they question a lot of what the output is coming in and therefore they're able to massage and tweak the answers that come out of AI into making a more like thorough and correct um, output out of whatever task you're doing. So one of the findings is that if you have a degree, there's more of a chance that you're gonna think critically about the output that you're given this AI generated content and be in wondering, well, is this correct? Is there any way that this could be used in a wrong way? Or if the question itself has been posed the wrong way. So they're able to actually work with AI versus implicitly trust whatever output comes out of it. I think this is super interesting for any discipline because these AI tools and the access to AI in large language models is only gonna increase in every single field. And if, if we're using it as a crutch to try to get through our day jobs, then we're actually gonna be worse off in the future because we're not actually understanding what we're actually delivering when it comes to whatever task we're doing. One of the riskier parts is that when there's like critical tasks being done, if you're not thinking critically about the outcome that's coming out of it, then that could actually have some negative effects. If you are given a task to determine whether or not something is safe to do, and you don't understand fully what the AI has presented to you as you use it as a tool, then that could have some real repercussions of you making a mistake in the calculations, even though you farmed off the idea to AI. I think it's something that we all have to be very cautious of is that even though AI is gonna make us move faster in pretty much any discipline, is that we still have to like pump the brakes a little bit and make sure like, okay, let's make sure that this is right and to verify. Software engineering does this all the time is that we, we build and build and build, but a lot of us have to build a test suite alongside of it to verify the outcomes to show that like this will work how it is. And here's an example of it working the way we need it to work. And when we mess it up, it fails before we're actually able, the tests fail before we're actually able to deliver the working code. So let's talk about software engineering and this kind of like, what does this mean? What do these studies mean? I think it suggests a lot of negative outcomes for this kind of knowledge work with software engineering. A lot of tasks in software engineering can be done quickly and they can scaffold up new applications. We can build new features that have been done a million times. But when you rely just on that, you're losing kind of like the, the pain and suffering of understanding the building blocks of the most basic parts of software engineering when you don't have that knowledge and you just trust that the code that was sent out works, if you see that it works and you just accept it, then then when it does break, because almost all software breaks at some point, you're gonna be at a loss of like how it actually works at a very detailed level. Now, I know you can say that you can use AI to then help you debug, but if you're constantly adding on stuff that you don't in, uh, inherently know the building blocks of, 
then that's going to build like a, a, just a Jenga tower of things breaking and not really working together as, as much as they should. And I think these studies kind of highlight what software engineers have known for decades is that uh, how valuable critical thinking is because software engineering um, is less about coding. The more you get into the industry, the more you realize that you're asking more questions than you are actually like building code. So a lot of the questions you're probably asking all the time is like understanding the business, understanding the problem, trying to think of the worst ways that things can break edge cases and sort of like ways that attackers, the cyber attacks and sort of security can be involved. Critically thinking about how the structure can be can break is something that software engineers already deal with a lot. And if junior engineers coming straight out of school, out of a boot camp, or building sort of like these quick little apps by themselves aren't building up those skills of like critical thinking, of thinking how things could break and deeply understanding how and why, then that's going to cause a lot of problems down the road when they have to learn it anyways and things are breaking. I think for the past like five years of my career, I've mostly been fixing and maintaining versus building brand new. Fixing and maintaining like production applications requires so much more mental load and critical thinking to understand like how things work, how the business needs it to work, and how you can make it better. That's where the that's kind of where the big money is, honestly, is that if you can understand it deeply and then also understand the business and how it all melts together. And if you don't have those critical thinking skills, then that's gonna be a harder level to jump up to in the future. Now, does this like make me worried? It makes me worried a little bit, but I think that um, uh, what this will highlight is that at some point that uh, an over-reliance on AI, someone somewhere in a critical position is gonna mess up and something's gonna break. Perhaps someone's gonna get hurt or someone's gonna lose a lot of money is when people aren't critically thinking about the stuff that they're putting out. And then AI is gonna be blamed for a lot of it and have this big black you know, spot on the record of like, the, you know, AI can't do this, it hallucinates too much. And that would be a very negative thing because on the whole, I'm very, I'm very pro AI about like what it can do to like help us advance as like uh, software engineers and like knowledge workers. But if it's used wrongly and incorrectly, um, people are going to mess up and it's going to cause a lot of pain for a lot of people. Okay, so I could probably talk about this for a very long time and I would love, love, love anyone to like reach out and down in the comments and ask any questions that you have in this space or any sort of knowledge. I'll put the links in the description to these studies and I respond to pretty much every single comment I get a notification for. So just come down and say hi, ask some questions. Let's have a discussion about whether this is the robot apocalypse, if AI is a bunch of hype, or if we're all just kind of doomed and these robot overlords are gonna take over our lives. Whatever you think, let me know down in the comments and I'll respond there. Meanwhile, you can also check out this video, which I think you'll like, and uh, see you around next time, guys.